Tonight, weather-wise, we are coming up on part of the year where the potential for severe weather increases. So what long-term trends are we seeing this year, and how does that compare to the past? News 2 meteorologist Davis Nolan is here now with the weather outlook for the next three months. Davis. Oh, that's right, Bob. Today, the Climate Prediction Center released its 90-day outlook for the months of March, April, and May. Now, we all know that warm temperatures can help lead to severe weather, and the forecast is for an average of above normal temperatures, and that goes along with a forecast for above normal precipitation as well. Now, their forecast is based on the month of March starting out continuing a La Nina out in the Pacific Ocean before it transitions to a neutral temperature profile by May. Now I talked to Ryan Husted, the coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service, about what we might expect in the Mid-South. With this La Nina spring upcoming, uh, what this will mean for Middle Tennessee is that the surface low pressures will go north of us. Last year, if you remember, they were going south of us, so we were cool um, and not worried about severe weather till May. This year, we're already worried about it. We've had two events so far in February and five tornadoes. Now, here's what Ryan was talking about with regards to the position of the low pressure centers. Now, when the low passes to our north, it keeps us in the southerly flow and in what we call the warm sector, supplying the warmth and the humidity to help form strong storms. Now, this also creates the type of wind shear in the atmosphere, that difference in the wind direction from the surface to the upper levels and the jet stream to help produce severe weather. Now, Hugh said also said that with above normal rainfall, flooding could be an issue this spring as well. I'm News 2 meteorologist Davis Nolan.